Hey everyone, I'm here with my mustache to tell you about the Vanguard 2 from Raven Concealment. This is about the most minimalistic of minimalistic holsters. There's some things I like about it and some things I don't. Let me explain. Hey, yeah, so I don't normally rock a mustache, but it is Movember, so... Yeah, a couple more weeks of this bad boy, and then I can knock it back off again. Anyway, guys, this is the Vanguard 2. Uh, this is a very minimalistic holster. I don't, it's not even a holster. It's basically a trigger guard uh, with a belt clip and a claw. What I liked about this was it came with the claw, and uh, it had a uh, belt clip. It also comes with an optional belt loop with a snap, which I didn't get because I thought this would be easier. Clear gun. Okay, so... What this allows you to do is snap your firearm into the holster and the trigger guard is protected on all sides. So then you can slip this into your pants just like this for carry. Now, I'm gonna go into some greater detail on that here in just a second, but there are some pretty significant downsides to this sort of a style of carry. But what I really like about it is how minimalistic it is. I don't care how thin the holster is. It always seems like it adds bulk. So this is one of those, there's no additional bulk that's added. And literally, you have a clip. And this is a tuckable holster, by the way. I'll try not to flash you guys. Let me step over here. Do, 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 do. Get that done. Get that tightened up. So yeah, and uh, it's very minimalistic. All you have here is the little belt loop. Obviously you would defeat your garment and then draw the weapon. So that's really cool. I like the tuckable aspect of it and I like it for administrative handling. So I spend more time handling the firearm when I'm not trying to draw it or shoot it than I do any other time, right? Because it's a part of my life. I take it off when I go to bed, I put it on when I go to work. So what I like about this is the fact that you can administratively handle the firearm with the trigger guard still concealed. And what I mean by that is you still have access to operate the slide, which means for loading and unloading, you can do all that and still have the trigger covered, which is kind of nice. So more importantly though, I get home, I want to pull out the holster, set it on the nightstand, and I can leave it there and know that the trigger guard is protected, yet I have access uh, to the firearm pretty quickly. When you're not in a belt carry situation, you simply pull the trigger guard off, it snaps off, and, uh, and then you're ready to run the gun. So one thing that's important to note about this particular style of holster is you can't reholster it in the waistband. You have to remove the holster from your belt, externally snap it onto the trigger guard, and then put the whole thing in as a system, okay? So that's important to note. So as a range holster, this isn't gonna work, right? You're not gonna be doing any drawing, firing, and then reholstering just because uh, you have to disassemble your system off your belt to reholster. Please do not try and slip this in between your pants and shove it in there and get it to lock into place. Very dangerous. But doing it outside, perfectly safe. And I really like how this protects the trigger guard. I mean, that's its, that's its job. I like that they added the claw feature to it because it really does help uh, camp the butt of the gun into the body. I carry appendix, right? So this is where I carry. What I want is the butt of that gun to be pressed into my body as opposed to flopping out in the wind. And that gives me a little bit more uh, ability to conceal. And I like that. So the claw really does allow for that. You can see it there. It's basically just pressing against the belt. This is a pretty stiff belt um, and it really does sort of grab that uh, claw and just suck it right in. So uh, that's a nice feature. So let me tell you about some of the things that bother me about this holster. First of all, with it being exposed like this, uh, particularly in my case, I have these really sharp 
suppressor height sights. And that front sight in particular is serrated on the back side, okay? And it's just sharp on all the corners, which is kind of what you want in a front sight. It um, hangs up on everything, right? So you slip this into your pants and on the draw, there's a good chance it might hang up on things. So that's something you need to know about. And it's not something I've seen a lot of people talk about. I'm going to show you some demos here in a second in both dress pants with a regular dress belt and that's going to be an important one to watch because that is actually a very horrible combination for this particular uh, holster system. And then I'm going to show you with the jeans and uh, in this uh, Aries belt here that I have and you'll see a difference in how uh, well this does or doesn't function but also what you'll see is this front side getting hung up on things. So. I think I prefer in normal situations a holster that wraps around and provides a channel for that sight uh, so it's not hanging up on things. So that's an opportunity for problems. And I don't know really a way around it other than just the smoother the inside of your clothing is the better. But just know there's a chance you're going to hang up. Now if you've got a smaller front side it might not be that big of an issue as compared to what I'm running here. All right, so first, starting with a safe weapon for this demonstration, uh, I'm going to go ahead and clip on the Vanguard holster and put it into my waistband. Now, this is a typical like business uh, belt, one and a quarter inch belt, slacks, and a polo shirt. It does do a really great job at pressing the gun tight against my dad bod, and uh, I've got good access to the grip of the pistol, but watch this if I slowly draw I want to show you look at that my front sight is getting hung up on the inside of my pants you can see there these dress pants have a lot of little liners on the inside and that sharp serration on the back of the sight uh, is becoming a problem so I'm gonna do it again really quick uh, just to show you it wasn't a fluke it happens uh, quite often Again, this is a bad combination of too flimsy of a belt, probably too small of a belt, and then uh, complicated lining on the pants. But you can see, again, it got hung up. So I'm not sure I can trust that it's not going to get hung up when I need it. So I'm going to move the holster further away from the center line, do a full speed draw, once again, still getting caught in that lining. And that's with a tighter belt. Now here's something interesting. I'm going to go slow speed so you can see it. If the belt is too small, you have the potential for it to roll over inside the waistband, particularly if it's too small and too loose and not stiff enough. So you end up drawing the gun with the holster attached. And that's really, I think, because of how flimsy and soft this plastic is. All right, so the good news is things improve dramatically when you have a proper belt. This is an Aries Gear Aegis Enhanced belt and uh, it's the right size belt for that particular clip, a one and a half inch clip. And uh, yeah, it really makes a big difference. You can see how solid the holster sits on the belt and how it clips properly underneath. Now, I do have uh, one thing to add here, which is even in jeans, there is a way to get it hung up on that front side. For the most part, the draw is going to be smooth and without issue, and you can see how it really retains the holster. Again, the right belt for the job. Here's a close-up of the holster. You can see it's adjustable, and you can lower or raise by one notch, basically, this belt clip. Now, I'm in the lowest position where the gun is riding lowest, and even with that, I still have plenty of room to access the butt of the pistol. So uh, my fingers uh, fit in there in between uh, the belt nicely and it doesn't have a problem. I found when it was higher, it seemed to, it just rode too high for me. Now here is a problem. Uh, again, inboard of that one belt loop, uh, I run the risk of getting into this area where the front sight can get hung up. There's a section of overlap right here with the jeans and you can see right there uh, it can get hung up in that little channel. So again, my solution for that is to try and uh, move that further outboard than right there. Anyway, it does come with a claw for you left-handed guys. So you just flip around the holster and then you use the other piece of the claw 
for a left-hand carry. And um, yeah, it's um, pretty simple. All right, so here's something that totally surprised me, and that is uh, how this holster system works with <laughs> drawstring sweatpants. Now, I don't normally wear sweatpants with a polo, but this is a demo, so you know, just work with me, folks. Uh, so with the with the drawstring tied tight, uh, the holster actually conceals fairly well. I actually, actually like it, and look at this. Oh my gosh, it actually <laughs> worked. I did not see that coming. I actually expected that it wouldn't work, but uh, time and time again, uh, the weapon is able to be drawn gracefully out of the uh, the Vanguard 2 with sweatpants. So, yeah, now will this be my primary method of carry uh, in sweats? Probably not, but it's nice to know that if I'm running to the store, again, I use that example a lot because it's pretty common. I'm not prepared to be gone for very long. It's just a quick errand. Uh, it's nice to know that that might work. All right, guys, so I wanted to make sure that you got a chance to see how it looked concealed underneath a lightweight polo, uh, dad bod and all. Um, you know, I'm not sucking in Ranger style here. No, no offense. I'm just messing with you guys. Uh, pretty easy to uh, to draw from, uh, from under concealment, of course. And, um, you know, my biggest challenge, I have that huge optic, uh, relatively speaking, of course, which is going to stick out a little bit more than those of you that uh, just have a traditional rear sight. Um, but yeah, I kind of find that spot right there where it fits nicely um, and uh, works well for me. And I think it's a pretty good concealable holster. And for the record, yes, you can draw one-handed with this, no problem. So do I like the holster? Yes, I do. Um, I think it fits a need for me, which is, like I said, that administrative, um, let's say I'm, I'm in a non-permissive environment or I'm I'm going to a place where I can't legally carry. I'm not wearing this all day, but I might wear it, you know, just from my house to where I'm going, and then I'll put it in a safe inside the vehicle. So that's an administrative function. I'm removing the entire holster and gun assembly, putting it into the safe, pulling it out. All the time my trigger guard is concealed, which I like that. And then when I get back home, I can grab it out of the, the Jeep and, you know, and, uh, and be good to go again. This is a holster that the very first time I got it, I thought, oh, this is awesome. It's so lightweight, it's so thin, it doesn't take up any extra space. It's got the claw, it cants the butt of the pistol in the right way, um, beautiful. And then I started running into uh, challenges. Another challenge is, is the hot spot is, I've got the muzzle of my firearm digging into my body. There's nothing here on the inside, body side, protecting me from the firearm. Not a bad deal. I don't really mind it from here up. I don't really care if the grip is running against my body or the slide. Um, but the muzzle, yeah, that kind of, that generates some hot spots right in here by the tenders, you know? I've got that V right in the groin area and, and um, the pistol when I'm sitting just sort of digs right into there. And uh, because it's just the muzzle of the gun, it just, it just creates a hot spot. So I work around that, I adjust it, you know, uh, in the chair, I can pull it, uh, cant it around a little bit, um, but yeah, that, that is that. So um, this is my review of the Vanguard 2. Uh, you decide what you think about it. I like it in a lot of ways, and then there's some ways, like I said, I don't like it. But yeah, price is right, though, uh, if you want to try it out and see uh, what you think for yourselves. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.